Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at this and this. We have the photographer stand and the shadow stand, both used to take awesome pictures of your bike. What we're going to do is unbox both the shadow stand and the photographer stand. Then we're going to take a look exactly how they work and how you can stand your bike up seamlessly with them. Then I'm going to head out into the wild and actually take some pictures with these stand and see what they're like in the real world. And finally, stay tuned to the end because I am giving away five of these shadow stands. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can have a chance of winning one of these. So as always, I've added timestamps to this video so you can quickly navigate to the point of the video that best suits you, the bit that you want to see. Right, so let's get these stands out of their boxes. I should probably start by saying that I'm not actually a professional photographer, but I do love a good bike pick. So let's start with the shadow stand. So this is a small one, very, very portable and can be used on any ride. It fit in your little saddle bag. So let's open it up and see what we got. So here we go. That is the stand. That is super, super clear, which is perfect. It's what you want. Now, how does this work? Let's have a look at the instructions. Now you can see from the instructions, it goes underneath the crank arm. So your cranks have to be facing down for this stand. And then your bike leans into it slightly. We're gonna be looking how to do this and go out and check all this out later on in the video. So do stay tuned. We've got a little bit about the story of Shadow Stand, the materials, 100% recycled. We like that. And we also have a word of caution, do not use a shadow stand in windy conditions. It won't be able to hold your bike securely. So that is food for thought. This is pretty small. It was a thought that I had, if it's really, really windy, what it would actually be like. But we will check it out later when we're out and about. So that's that one done. Now let's check out the photographer stand. Now the photographer stand is much, much larger. So let's take this out of the box. I really like this packaging actually, super, super clean. This one is a photographer stand from Shadow Stand, if that makes sense. Now this one is much, much bigger as you can see. So, very, very clear again. That one's gonna go down on the ground. So what have we got? Instructions, it takes a little practice to find the right balance, okay? But with this one, what you can have is your crank at the horizontal position. So you don't have to have your cranks facing down, which is obviously better if you're being really picky and want to take an absolutely perfect picture. This one, you can have your cranks horizontal. The shadow stand, you have to have your cranks facing down. So if that's a big thing for you, then the photographer stand is better. So we also have a bit about the materials. Again, 100% recycled, perfect. And a word of caution, don't use a shadow stand in windy conditions. So it seems like these stands might not be the best when it's proper, proper windy, which is understandable, right? You're balancing your bike. And it's probably the biggest thing to consider when actually using them. So there we go. That is both of these unboxed, a little bit of info. I think it's about time we actually try to use them and try to stand the bike up. So let's swap to that. Okay, Pete. So this is the very first time I have used these stands. I'm going to start by using the shadow stand and just ignore how dirty my bike is. It's horrendous, isn't it? Look at that. Oh God, I feel bad. So what I have to do is put this underneath. So let's go back around. This has to be slightly back because obviously you want it to be under tension. So that's under tension there. We want to put this in here. Okay, it's trying to go forward. There we go. Super simple, that was very first time. It's just leaning up against the stand. And this crank arm has to be slightly back so that there's pressure. Um, but it's all looking good actually. That was simpler than I thought. I mean, this isn't the most secure here, so that gives you a little indication how it is. Right, so next up, the photographer stand. So with this one, we put the cranks horizontal. Just grab it here. And then this one goes up here, I believe simple first time okay so again the cranks this time can be horizontal which is going to look much better for your pictures if you are a perfectionist but what we're going to do is go out in the wild take some pictures and we're going to come back look at those pictures and see just how invisible this shadow stand is right peeps we are heading to the velodrome where we can get some good shots with the shadow stand Try out some different surfaces maybe, some grass, some concrete, we shall see. But yeah, hopefully it's all good and I don't drop my bike. 
and this is where we're heading. I've just found a spot and one thing that I can note straight away is finding a spot is you need level ground. However, we have this spot now. We've got the velodrome in the background. So let's see how this works. So first things first, we'll try the small shadow stand. So let's pop that down like that, I believe. Let's get that under there. Lean the bike towards. Okay, so I think that is gonna hold. We shall see. I'm gonna take a picture. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so that's all done with the shadow stand. Let's try the photography stand. It's actually really stable as well. I thought it would be a bit more wobbly. So let's put this round like so. And then underneath we plonk this, I believe. More of an angle. Okay, that is that one done. That's good. Let's get some pics. Right, we're gonna go ahead and find a grassy area and see what it's like. Right peeps, location number two. We've got the Olympic rings behind us and we're gonna try it on the grass. So let's get to it. Okay, in with the shadow stand again. This time we are on some soft grass. Move that forward a bit. Come under. Okay, simples. Okay, so that actually works really well on the grass. I think because of these ridges along the bottom, they can kind of dig themselves into the ground. So let's try the photographer's stand now on the soft ground. So again, go underneath that in simple and you can kind of like nestle it in as well when it's on soft ground i feel like that's a bit more secure than it was on the hard ground so let's get some shots of this okay so that's all done i'm gonna get back and look at these pictures I've just got back from the ride where I tested out the shadow stand and got some good pics. I have those pics on my iPhone and I'm going to check these pictures over and see if the shadow stand is in fact invisible. So let's jump straight in. This is the shadow stand, so the smaller one. You can see straight away it's pretty hard to see when the picture is in full shot. So you can see the edges kind of reflect some light maybe. So it does depend where the lighting is, whether or not it's fully invisible. So let's scroll through. Not too bad at all. You can see that one there. I found that on the harder ground, it was a little bit harder to get it sort of stable. On the softer ground, it can kind of dig in. This is a bit more zoomed out shot. Again, you're gonna have to take a second look and think, how is the bike standing up? You're not gonna instantly see that. This is a close up of the shadow stand and how it kind of hooks around the pedal. So you can see there, it just hooks around. It's super, super simple. You can see it there trying to grip the floor. I'm not sure how this would actually work if it was on a slick floor. I think you always kind of need a bit of grip. Um, the more uneven or soft, the better. Here we have the photographer's stand now, so a little bit lighter. And you can see the right hand side of the stand as we look at it is actually invisible. Depending on how the light is, gonna depend on whether or not the edges are visible or not. But here you can see it slightly, but come on, it's, it's marginal. It looks really, really good. Again, the photographer stand, more invisible there. So better lighting directly on. This is the photographer's stand just to kind of indicate how it actually looks from this side. So really, really pleased with the result. That's underneath, so this is a photographer's stand kind of gripping underneath a crank arm where the bottom bracket is. And I found it nested in there really securely, really easily, so I was chuffed with that also. Now we have the Olympic rings and we are on the grass and I feel it worked a little bit better here in terms of visibility. Like looking at that, you're not gonna see are you that shadow stand there. It looks like the bike's just floating, so really, really good. Same again here, hard to see, super hard to see. So that's the shadow stand from the other side. Really, really good, it's really impressive. It's so simple, the idea is so simple, but it actually works really, really well. This time the photographer's stand, so again, looking good. That's the photographer's stand, you can see at another angle, gripping onto the crank arm and bottom bracket. And that's it, sort of reflecting the light. That was just to show, but you're obviously not gonna take a picture from the side that the stand is, you always go from the other side. 
So that is all the pictures, and I think they turned out really, really well. They were just quick picks, obviously, but in terms of just standing the bike up, it's easy to just take the shadow stand photographer stand out and get the picture that you want. So overall, I'm really impressed with these um, shadow stands, and I would highly recommend, which brings me on to the competition, and I have five of these shadow stands to give away. So if you want one of these, simply comment below and subscribe to the channel. That's it, two simple things. And what I'm gonna do is just pick five people who have commented below and you will receive one of these shadow stands. So go ahead, do that right now. All done, good. You're in for a chance of winning. So that concludes today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, much appreciated. Until next time, self-love and safe riding.